Hi guys and welcome to another Hero of the Week. This week's hero is Stephen Flynn, the head of the SNP in Westminster. Now while the average voter is most concerned about the cost of living crisis and the NHS, the media are instead obsessed with immigration. So the Scot was on a panel with Yvette Cooper from Labour and Andrew Mitchell from the Conservatives where they spoke about asylum and immigration. Stephen was asked how his party would stop the boats and he came back with a perfect response. Have a listen. What you do is you take away the line of business for these people. And the easiest way to take away the line of business for some of the most horrific people on the planet, which these people are, is to create safe and legal routes. And then what you do is you treat people with dignity and respect. In stark contrast to the rhetoric we hear from the Conservative Party in Westminster and now the Labour Party in Westminster. What has become of the Labour Party that it trots out almost the exact same lines as the Conservative Party when it comes to migration and when it comes to asylum seekers. Let me ask you, Stephen, the same question I asked Leila. Does that mean then that it's it's, it's yes to all comers? So so the international norms are set. When When someone is applying for asylum, they have the right to do so. As it stands, the UK takes less than our European partners when it comes to asylum seekers. That is the position we are in. We should be doing more. We can do more. But the the Conservatives are afraid to do more because they are terrified of Nigel Farage. And the Labour Party are terrified of being outflanked by the Conservative Party. So chase them on this issue as well. You deserve better. Asylum seekers deserve better. Let's create safe and legal routes. Well said. Well said. And it's not just Stephen Flynn who's been saying this. Campaigners, people who work with asylum seekers, have been begging the government to create safe and legal routes. Like if we go back to the war in Ukraine, at the beginning of the war, refugees left Ukraine and arrived in the United Kingdom. Did they travel by dinghy? No. Did they have to rely on people smugglers? No. Why? Because there was a safe route for them. They could arrive in the UK safely. They didn't have to rely on people smugglers or crossing the channel or uh, jumping on board uh, a dinghy at, at risk to the to them, the lives of themselves and their families. So you created a safe route, people can come into the country safely. What's the problem with doing it for others? As Stephen pointed out, the Conservatives are desperately afraid of Nigel Farage. So when Farage says immigration has to come down, the, the Conservatives jump. And unfortunately, it seems to be the case with the Labour Party as well. The Labour are emulating some of the language with the immigration is too high. A number of Labour uh, candidates and MPs have already said immigration is too high, it has to come down, and have criticised the Conservatives for not bringing down immigration. Now, I don't know if this is a bit like Brexit, where they're selling the public a line that they believe that the public want to hear, and then after the election they'll say, no, we need to actually create safe routes because that's the right thing to do. So, in a sense, they're lying to the voters in order to win power. And then when they get into power, they'll say, no, let's do the logical thing. Let's actually do the humane thing and create safe routes. If they're not, then you're going to be doing exactly the same as the Conservatives. And you're going to allow people like Nigel Farage to weaponize this issue once again. If the, if the Conservatives truly cared about stopping the boats, they would have created safe routes. The number of crossings would disappear, would drop to almost zero. There would, of course, be a few, but if you create safe routes, you reduce that dramatically. And then you take that weapon away from Nigel Farage. If you process the claims, if you move people from asylum status to refugee status and then allow them to work, you take that weapon away from Nigel Farage as well. But the Tories are too afraid to do that. They still think they can use it as a tool to win elections. And once again, I hope the Labour Party are just going along with this in order to win votes, in order to hold on to the red wall or whatever the the thinking is, or to win back the red wall. And then as as soon as they're in power, they say, no, actually, we're going to do the right thing. But it seems to be maybe the Liberal Democrats and the SNP and the Greens who are talking about immigration in a positive way, saying we actually need immigrants. The NHS, social care, hospitality, farming, pretty much any sector needs immigrants. There are asylum seekers who have come in. A lot of them have skills that we need. Let's put them to work. Let's allow them to work. 
but the Conservatives and Reform UK are against this completely. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.